Well, you have signed Joe Hardy on loan. Um, first of all, how delighted are you to get him in and what do you feel he'll add to your squad? I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, hopefully he'll add goals. I think he's a natural goal scorer. Um, he's had a couple of injury problems, but he's well over that. Played about seven games in the last couple of months. So um, he's a good addition to the team because I think over the piece in the, in the season, we've created a lot of chances and maybe not taking as many as what we should. So a brilliant addition to the team. So looking forward to seeing him. Do you think he could just make that difference? Because obviously at the moment you're on, on a run of several draws. Could he just make that difference, that cutting edge? Hopefully. Up? Hopefully. There's nothing guaranteed, Stephanie. So we know the way it works, but sometimes when you get a natural finisher, it's is good and not that I'm more confident, but just with the amount of, I think percentage of chances created and taken, I think we have to be taking a few more, but we've still done well over the season. We've uh, got a, a positive goal difference. I think we're the second, I think third top goal scorers in the league, so um, we're still doing well, but this is an, a wee extra, an extra boost for them. And how pleased are you so far with uh, who you brought in? Because you've brought another couple of faces in the last week or so. Um, how pleased are you with how the squad's shaping up? And are you trying to bring in anyone else? I think uh, we'll, we'll, we're, we're looking at maybe getting one more if we can. But uh, we needed pace in the team. And we've got it in wide areas now with Sam Pearson, Logan Chalmers. So delighted with them as well. But we, we've got a, an extra dimension to our attacking third. Not that the players weren't doing well, but I thought we needed competition for places as well. Just to give the the boys that are playing that extra wee shove, make sure they're performing properly, or they know that they could lose their place. So that's what it's all about. I said that for the first uh, week I came here. And that's what I want, and I've got healthy competition again, which is great. And I lost a couple of wingers, as you know. Get out of the way, so I've got a couple of wingers in. So great. And obviously, uh, a big game against Kilmarnock this weekend. What's your thoughts heading into it? A beauty. Um, like always, really looking forward to it. We've had uh, good results against Kelly so far this season. Different dimension with Derek McInnes here now in terms of we maybe a change of shape, maybe a, a change of personnel. He's added a few that he'll be pleased with as well in the transfer window. So I think it's going to make a cracker. How big an opportunity is this for you in terms of the league? Because obviously it's... Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory what it can do. When you get draws, we've been close to getting wins. We just need that wee boost just now. Not that we're not playing well and not that we're not having parts of games where we're looking good. But it'd be good to get a wee three points on the board because I really think it'll kick us on. And be no better place than going to kill it and doing it. We know what's at stake. I win... They'll be saying the same, a win for them, um, you know, puts them in a really good place. And a win for us is going to give us a massive a massive nudge in the right direction because we're close, we're close and it's, it's getting there, but just make sure we get that win soon. It's, it's uh, Draws are dropping points, but my players, as I said, are, are working hard. We just need that extra bit of guile and if we get that and get a win, I think we'll surge on. Good stuff, thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers, sir. Well, you said about how did the moves come about, and you said they obviously they bring you a lot of pace. But is it is it? I know you've been looking to get pace in all season. But what else can the boys bring to the team? Is it just numbers? Is it a bit more quality in the wide areas? It's certainly not just numbers. Um, and from what I've seen so far, and uh, a lot of people know Logan Chalmers, know what he can bring. He has got unbelievable technical ability, quick, direct, um, score goals. So hopefully he's got that X factor where he can give us that thing in the final third where it's I mean some of the things I've seen in training so far excites me but so does Sam Pearson uh, I thought he was great when he came on last week and what I've seen of him this week he's been well coached the lad um, a brilliant uh, appetite for the game brilliant attitude but with a lot of technical ability so he has been a real find as well so far they have to do it in the pitch of course but they've shown me signs that I'm thinking right okay we've got a couple of good ones here I hope that's great with the squad. Obviously, the boys coming up from Dundee, one coming up from England, we're two from England now. Um, have you maybe leaned to some of the younger local boys to help them settle or some of the more experienced boys? I think uh, Logan, Sam's quite a, just a really nice lad and the boys have taken to him right away and he loves it. He's just telling me this beautiful part of the world as everybody does when they come up here. 
Um, Logan, uh, a few of the boys knew him for under 21 duty. And uh, Joe Hardy, no, nobody, nobody's really um, been in contact with Joe, so nobody knows Joe. But I've got a really good bunch of boys here who everybody that comes in the dressing room, whether it's somebody coming in trial, whether it's somebody I've got a couple in who are, you know, just giving them training facilities. Um, they're so welcomed into the dressing room and, and that's what I want because I've got a brilliant bunch of lads. Brilliant. And then, Saturday's game, as you said last week, your post-match comments, 7 or 8, the, the, record, the record's good, you know, people focus on the draws, but we're not getting beat. Is, is this ideal opportunity to... I want to win, Stevie. I want to win. There's no doubt. Um, you know, as there's been some of the draws hard work, some a couple of the draws disappointing, um, but we're, we're not losing games... And that doesn't lose confidence, but you know you have to have that edge to win a game. That's where we're at, and I'm, I'm we're that close. I can feel it. Even as I say, Queen of the South disappointing, but to come from one 0 down to get two one up, and then the kind of goal we lost. It's just wee things like that just now. But we're working hard, and, and we're so close to getting that one. I really feel will propel us on to another level. You've obviously we've, we've done well against Kilmarnock this season, two wins out of two. But have you seen a change in them since Derek came in? And it's it's something you're looking to capitalise on? Everybody's got their own ideas. Um, Tommy Wright had them well organised. We had to, you saw the first game of the season, you know, we worked hard in every department and took a chance a took a chance, and then had another one as well. So, And in the second game, it was just really at it. I thought we were at it for the full 90 minutes. And maybe that's what's been missing in games recently. We're just, you know, we've had 45 against them firmly, and I thought we had probably 60 minutes of it against Queen of the South asking the question. Can we get back to, you know, maybe an 80 minute spell where they have a 10, I would like an 80 minute spell of course, but can we get with percentages right within games? That's where I would love to get back to, that's what will bring the wee surge, and I don't mean confidence, I just realisation, yes we're back at it, here we go again, because we're capable of going the run. No, I definitely agree, and lastly, um, how's that in the and is has that, that changed your... Um you're thinking maybe that player needs to come in and you look to maybe strengthen the back again? Uh, Danny's away for a scan today. Um, we're hoping, we're hoping that it's good news. And right now, all week, it's been refreshing what we've heard. But I don't want to say anything because the scan's today and that'll tell us where we're at. But we're hoping for a miracle. And we could be getting... I'm thinking we could be getting it, which would be great. I don't want really to see the, the boy out long term. It might not be as bad uh, bad as first feared. And if it if it isn't, we'll be absolutely buzzing for, for, for Danny and for the team. So we'll find out more tomorrow when we get the results. Right, and uh, one more. Uh, Scott Aldice was down in, out down in Edinburgh on Monday getting an update for the specialist. How did that go? Was it, was it positive? Yes, again, um, we thought... Scotty might have uh, needed an operation. I don't think that's the case. So it's more positive. I'm still longer term, but positive. So no, ha really happy for the two lads. I mean, we could say about the team and myself, of course, but I'm just happy for for them because uh, uh, they're young lads. Well, Danny's a bit older, but you no, know, they're still younger, middle-aged lads. So you panic when things like that happen to you. So absolutely delighted for them so far. Um, Scotty, good news. Hopefully, Danny tomorrow. Even even more be, uh, good news. No, I'm good to you. I'm feeling for Saturday, Billy. Just cheers, Stevie. And just an update on Billy McCoy as well. Um, I, <coughs> I wasn't too touching bad. touching go for tomorrow. Um, don't think it'll be too long term, um, but we're going to give him a fitness test tomorrow. See where we are. So touch and go for Billy. So he could uh, he could be in the squad. So we'll wait and see. But. You know, Billy, he fights back for injury pretty quickly. Even he's, he's one he had in the summer. Um, he had a shorter re rehabilitation than we thought, and that's Billy for you. So, very hopeful, but touch and go. In the games against Kilmarnock, you've won both of them 1-0. How big a mental edge is that going into the game for both teams? Um, I think... I, I don't think it will this time, because... They've got a new manager and, and he'll be saying, look, the line's drawn now. I know they've beaten you twice. He'll be saying that our team's in a better place and we have a right chance if we play well. But I think we have shown that we are a really good team. But we've also shown that we have to be at it for 90 minutes against Kelly. That's what brought us our victories and that's what we're hoping for tomorrow. Eh, sorry, eh, Saturday. Roddy and Aaron, how are they? Again, eh, I think the game will come too soon for them. 
Which, no. but I don't think it'll be again longer term. But just maybe a a week or so away from them. So yeah, disappointed we've lost a couple, but uh, they're getting better. It won't be too long for them.